Aliens. I want to talk to you about aliens. Yeah. UFOs, UAPs. I know. Sure. The disclosure we've seen in Congress yeah. recently. It's 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 confusing and upsetting a lot of Americans because something's going, there's something happening. So are there any accounts of UAPs emerging from or submerging into our water, which could indicate a base or presence beneath the oceans? Let's call them Marine Kingdom. Surface. Let me be clear. UAP are real. Advanced technologies not made by our government. Now, UAP are real, but these people are not realizing that these are fallen angels. Are there aliens amongst us? We all know there has been what seems to be UFO sightings and orbs in the water and all these things moving in the water that are unidentified. Now, U.S. Congress discusses UAPs, which means unidentified anomalous phenomena. All right, I'm going to play those videos for you guys. Then we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about if there are truly aliens amongst us. All right. First of all, take a listen to this. There are rumors that have come up to the Hill um, of a secretive project within the Department of Defense involving uh, the manipulation of human genetics with what is described as non-human genetic material, potentially for the enhancement of human capabilities, hybrids. Are any of you familiar with that? Yes or no? No, ma'am. I am not, ma'am. I'm not. No, ma'am. Okay, I would like to know, um, with Immaculate Constellation, um, how does this relate to UA UAP activities, Mr. Schellenberg, um, in oceanic environments? Are there any instances where the Navy or other uh, marine time uh, um, um, forces have encountered UAPs that could not be explained by known technology or natural phenomena. Yeah, the uh, Immaculate Constellation uh, covers both terrestrial and oceanic, and there's actually a number of cases described in the report that uh, occur um, in the ocean. And do you believe that there is a concerted effort by the Pentagon uh, to keep Congress out of the loop regarding these UAP activities, specifically in our waters? Yes. I think it's about 5% of our ocean that's actually been studied in detail. Um now, what a lot of people don't understand is that these are not aliens. These are marine spirits. This is the marine kingdom. Straight up, the, the Bible reveals that there are demonic forces in the water, right? The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 27, verse 1, In that day the Lord with his sore and great and mighty strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. When you begin to study about, you know, mermaids and stuff like that, you'll begin to see that there is a, a demon, an evil spirit called Siren. And Sirens would live in the water and they would begin to lure sailors and they will be responsible for shipwrecks and all these things. So we got to understand that the marine kingdom is a real thing. There are demonic entities within the water. These are not, these are not aliens the bible says there's nothing new under the sun there's only demons angels um demons angels and then some of them are fallen angels right and then you have god and then us humans all right and the animals right and that's literally it and you also have the nephilim as well right but after the flood we do see them after the flood as well and whatnot but you don't see them running rampant in the earth as they were in the old days. Now, when the Bible says, as it was in the days of Noah, that's not talking about the Nephilim returning. That's talking about the, the return, uh, how it's going to be um, in the coming of the Lord, as it was in the days of Noah when people were marrying and drinking and not being serious, and then the flood came. So shall it be with the Son of Man when people are you know drinking, marrying, doing all these things, sinning, and then the coming of the Lord will just happen suddenly like that. All right. So, yeah, these are not aliens. I'm going to tell you why, because fallen angels have the capacity to shapeshift. All right. The Bible says in Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14, and no wonder for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. OK, so fallen angels have the capacity to transform themselves so they can give you an illusion that they are aliens. They can trick you into believing that you are aliens. And 
the bad thing about believing aliens is that it takes away from the Bible. So people will start believing in aliens and all these things, but they don't want you to know the reality of the Marine Kingdom. They don't want you to know the reality of demons and whatnot. They're trying to take the world to another place, another, or is this reality? Christians are wrong. The Bible is wrong and all these things. So there, it, there's no demons. There's no Marine spirits. It's just aliens. Just aliens, right? And I'm going to talk about this more, but I'm going to let it play. Um, by man, uh, and we've we've studied more of space than we had of our own oceans. And so, are there any accounts of UAPs emerging from or submerging into our water, which could indicate a base or presence beneath the oceans? It's called the Marine Kingdom surface. I, I don't know about uh, a base, but you know, as I mentioned, I had a, a different source entirely describe this pretty extraordinary footage that exists of orbs uh, of an orb coming out of the ocean and being met by another orb. Um, some would say that there's multiple hot spots where we see frequent activity. So in, in your investigations, have you acro come across any data or visual evidence like sonar readings um, or underwater footage of these UAPs? I have not beyond what's in the report. Um, you've written about UAPs not only in the air but in underwater. Um, are there any specifics um, on what you've learned about the UAP activity um, in our oceans, particularly? Have you um, spoken with uh, sources who have uh, provided any evidence or eyewitness accounts of uh, these UAPs interacting with our naval forces or um, being detected um, by our underwater surveillance systems? Nothing beyond what's in the report and then the, the specific case that I mentioned with the orb. Let me be clear. UAP are real. Advanced technologies not made by our government. Now, UAP are real. But these people are not realizing that these are fallen angels. That, that literally masquerade themselves into aliens because... They want to deceive the world into believing that life is really about like E.T. and, you know, those movies with like the alien invasion and stuff like that. So in those movies, there's no prayer. There's no fasting. There's no power over the aliens. And all of that contradicts scripture, right? Because the Bible says in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, behold, I give you authority to trample on serp serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. That includes Nephilim. That includes aliens. So if there were to be aliens, if there were to be Nephilim returning and taking over the earth, Scripture tells us in the New Testament that we have all the power over the enemy. And we know Nephilim are demonic beings. They, they are literally demons in the flesh. Demons are disembodied spirits, right? Nephilim, they're demonic beings. So we would have authority over the Nephilim as well. So there's literally nothing to fear. Nothing to fear at all. Right. Don't allow the media to paint this narrative that caused you to be fearful. These UAP things are real, but these people are not discerning that it's fallen angels because we even see in Scripture that there were two angels that transformed them, themselves into men in, in Sodom. Genesis chapter 19, verse one through five. The two angels arrived at Sodom in the evening and Lot was sitting in the gateway of the city. When he saw them, he got up to meet them and bowed down with his face to the ground. My lords, he said, please turn aside to your servant's house. You can wash your feet and spend the night and then go uh, on your way early in the morning. Now they answered, we will spend the night in the square. But he insisted so strongly that they, that they did go with him and entered his house. But he insisted so strongly that they did go with him and entered his house. He prepared a meal for them, baking bread without yeast, and they ate. Before they had gone to bed, all the men from every part of the city of Sodom, both young and old, surrounded the house. They called to Lot, where are the men whom you, who came to you tonight? Bring them out to us so that we can have sex with them. So these are angels that came in the form of men. That came, they, tra they transform themselves. So angels have the, have the capacity to shape shift. Even Jesus appeared to the disciples in another form. The Bible says that Jesus appeared to the disciples in another form and they didn't recognize him. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't recognize him. When I find that scripture, I'll share it with you guys, but literally that's in the Bible. Right? So it's not aliens. 
These are shape shifting forces of darkness. And you may say aliens, you know, the angels are not here. They're tied up. No, 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 not at all. Because the Bible even tells us that when Daniel was praying, Gabriel came to give uh, Daniel's answered prayer. And, and Gabriel was, um, he was withstood by the princes of Persia, which were the fallen angels that were governing over Persia. So we got to understand that fallen angels are still here. There are some that were put uh, in chains, but not all, not even close to all. Or any other government are monitoring sensitive military installations around the globe. Furthermore, the U.S. is in possession of UAP technologies, as are some of our adversaries. I believe we are in the midst of a multi-decade secretive arms race, one funded by misallocated taxpayer dollars and hidden from our elected representatives and oversight bodies. For many years, I was entrusted with protecting some of our nation's most sensitive programs. In my last position, I managed a special access program on behalf of the White House and the National Security Council. As such, I appreciate the need to protect certain sensitive intelligence and military information. I consider my oath to protect secrets as sacred, and I will always put the safety of the American people first. With that said, I also understand the consequences of excessive secrecy and stovepiping. Nowhere was this more apparent than in the aftermath of 9-11, which many of us remember all too well. I believe that America's greatness depends on three elements. A, a watchful Congress, B, a responsive executive branch, and C, an informed public. Over the last decade and a half, I learned that certain UAP programs were and are operating without any of these elements. Although much of my government work on the UAP... So there are programs with this UAP stuff, right? Now, I believe, I'm going to say this, I believe there, that there is a technology that we have not been exposed to that comes from demonic intelligence or um, fallen angels, 100%. Because much of the stuff, much of the evil that is in the earth has been learned, has been, has been given to the world by demons, right? The Bible says that in the last days, many will depart from the faith. They will, get, they will take heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons, things taught by demons, okay? So witchcraft was taught by demons. De it was demonic. It was actually angelic, um, fallen angels, demonic, ange uh, demonic angelic um, intelligence that taught man how to do witchcraft, right? Because there's no way man would know how to inquire of Satan or demons without an, an evil spirit giving them that demonic intelligence. Like, like straight up, the same, the same way Satan came to Eve and gave her, hey, if you eat this fruit, this will happen, that will happen. It's the same thing. Doctrines of demons. It was, it was a doctrines of demons in the Garden of Eden. Doctrine of Satan. Right? So I believe that there's technology. There are things that are hidden in secret where there are people who are of the elites that are more powerful than the president, more powerful than any world leader or United Nations, they're just so powerful than any king or queen on the earth, and they are indeed interacting with the spiritual world. Because we see throughout Scripture, when you see the kings, the queens, throughout Scripture, they were interacting. They had mechanisms where they could interact with fallen angels and interact with demonic forces. We see Jezebel as a queen, but she was also a witch interacting with Baal and Ashtoreth, right? We see, uh, we see Molech. We see all these different type of deities that were being worshipped, and the altar that they used was a mechanism to really to create that covenant and uh, give a sacrifice, so they could have a a relationship, or they could inquire of a certain spirit, certain power of darkness. You understand me? So ask yourself, how did the people, the Canaanites, the Philistines, get the understanding that if they give child sacrifice, it would appease their gods. Where did they get that knowledge from that if they sacrifice this, if they do this, if they do that, that their gods will be pleased and they'll be blessed financially and stuff like that? They got that from the inspiration of demons. Demons spoke to them. Demons spoke to them. 
That's how they gained. This wasn't just random stuff. This has come from demons. Fallen angels. And demons and fallen angels are not the same thing. I'll have to do a teaching on that. Demons are disembodied spirits. Fallen angels are fallen angels. They have the ability to shapeshift. They can come in bodily form. Demons cannot come in bodily form. And if they could come in bodily form, then it wouldn't make sense for them to enter our bodies. They cry and complain because they are disembodied spirits. There's a difference in that. That's they really demons are really disembodied spirits because they originally were the Nephilim, right? Um, and are the Nephilim here today? That's for another video. All right, but let's keep going. The subject still remains classified. Excessive secrecy has led to grave misdeeds against loyal civil servants, military personnel, and the public, all to hide the fact that we are not alone in the cosmos. A small. I mean, we're definitely not alone. I mean, the Bible even talks about the prince of the power of the air, which is Satan. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2, wherein in, past, wherein in past times ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So there is a power in the air that is working in the lives of, it, it's working in the earth, in the lives of people. It's working. Now, this spirit, it, the, the Satan and his fallen angels, they're not only working to destroy people, but they're working to deceive people. A mass deception of an alien invasion. A mass deception of the only thing that's up there is aliens. No demons, no Satan, no devils. It's, it's going to be a mass deception. Now, everyone's believing in aliens, but they don't believe in demons. They don't believe demons are real. They don't believe there's a devil. They don't believe there's a devil. They don't believe there's a Satan. But they believe in aliens. And that's this is the greatest deception. So let's say if the coming of the Lord happens, or if there's a rapture, guess what? They're going to say alien invasion. I'm telling you. There's a rapture. There's a coming of the Lord. They're going to say alien invasion. So a lot of those things that you're seeing in the air, it's manipulation. And I believe that there are diabolical people within the government, government that are working with these demonic beings to put forth a picture or an image or some type of illusion to make you believe that this stuff is really just aliens. All the movies, a lot of the horror films you're watching and whatnot, it's, they're programming you. They're telling you what you have to believe. They're telling you what's really out there. They're telling you what's in the water. Cadre within our own government involved in the UAP topic has created a culture of suppression and intimidation that I've personally been victim to. There are rumors. I mean, like like this this is going viral on TikTok everywhere. You know, um, the Bible even says this in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 2. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for some who have done this have entertained angels without knowing it. So angels can be all around us in human form, and you won't know. That's why scripture says, do not forget to show hospitality to strangers. So for some who have done this, have entertained angels without realizing it. Right? So, I mean, you know, this stuff is, the spiritual world is real. And the marine kingdom, Satan, the devil, fallen, all that stuff is worse than aliens. A million times worse. What they show in films and stuff like that is nothing in comparison to the Marine Kingdom. Nothing in comparison to Satan. Nothing. Nothing. Donald Trump commented on this a little bit. So the, the, there are two questions I have to ask. Go ahead. The first one's kind of fun. There are unidentified aerial phenomena in the sky. We don't know what they are. Do you? So it's such a... a a question I do get a lot, and it's such an interesting question. I've met with pilots that look just like you, actually. Okay? They have more of a crew cut. Okay? They, they look like him, and they look like you. Some of them look like you. <laughs> a little fatter. <laughs> but the, these are perfect people. Okay. And they're not, not you crazy. Know, conspiratorial. Yeah. They're right. not crazy. Yeah. And they tell me stories that they've seen things that 
you wouldn't believe. These are not people that you would say, There's gee, no way. oh, that's no okay. Way. President of the United States. But I said, was who is it? Silent? That's Joe Biden wanting to do an interview. <laughs> uh, so I met with pilots like beautiful Tom Cruise, but taller. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Handsome, perfect people. Sir, there was something there that was round in form and going like four times faster than my super jet fighter plane. And I look at these guys and they really mean it. Yeah. And I'm going to say this. I 100% believe there was technology that the government has access to when it comes to aircrafts that we are not aware of. That we are not aware of. I believe they have certain things that can fly that they have created over time. They have it and they have gotten this stuff from demonic intelligence and the demonic wisdom of evil spirits to build these things and create these things and have this master plan to deceive the world. And when they put these things in the sky and in, and in the air, it's going to bewitch people into believing that there are truly aliens and UFOs, really. Am I a believer? No, I probably, I can't say I am. But I have met with people that are serious people that say, there's some really strange things that they see flying around out there. And, you know, if you go to Nevada and you look at that little section of, of uh, where, where they go to look at uh, the aliens, where they think all the aliens are landing, that, you know, it's one of, I think it's a, maybe the number one tourist attraction in the United Ros States. Roswell? Yeah. Yeah. Roswell. It's, <laughs> I think it's the number one. It, it's the lines of people waiting. You have no idea how many times I'm asked that question. But don't you have access to that information? I have access, but and I, I speak to people about it. I've had actually meetings on it. And they will tell you there's something going on. When they say things, things are going four times faster than my beautiful top-of-the-line airplane that goes, you know, <laughs> Mach real fast. With no identifiable Mach, propulsion Mach system. Two, yeah. right? These, these things are creating their own gravity fields, allegedly. Well, they, they have, they have uh, people that are very smart and very solid have said they believe there is something out there. And you know, it makes sense that there could be. I've never been convinced even despite that, you know, mm -hmm. I just, for some reason it's not my thing. But a lot of people believe that it's true. A lot of very good solid people believe it's true. You know, there is stuff up, up there, out there. The Bible makes it very clear in Ephesians chapter six verse 12, where we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. And when we study all throughout scripture, the only wickedness in the heavenly places that we see are fallen angels, period, that have the ability to shape shift, that have the ability to come in different forms. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. And because a majority of the world doesn't believe in the Bible, the majority of the world believes in movies more than they do in the Bible. The majority of the world believes in horror films or the alien stuff more than they do the Bible. And that's, that's what they're trying to push. That's an agenda in itself. That's an agenda in itself because aliens, there's, what can we do against them? We can do it because all the movies are portraying, they abduct us, we have no power, they're stronger than us, they have all this intelligence. These are just fallen angels. These are just fallen angels, point blank, period. And even if an angel were to come, I'll say in the name of Jesus, because the anointing, the power inside of us as believers is greater than any alien. Alien will come to me, I'll say in the name of Jesus, move. You mean, afraid of aliens, all right. They will come, I'll say, you cannot touch me. Jesus has given me a power over all the powers of the enemy. These kinds of spirits will not leave except by prayer and fasting. You see me? So you won't see anything in scripture with a extraterrestrial being that we do not that we do not have the power over. You just you just will not see it. All right? So even Satan is underfoot. All right? So let me know what y'all think in the comments. It doesn't matter what you see and what you feel. Stick to the Bible 
and cast down all this fear. Do not follow the ways of the world. Okay, do not follow because they're pushing a narrative that is anti-biblical, right? So don't be afraid of this stuff. It's just ridiculous, all right? Be blessed. Take care in Jesus' name.